عرض باللہ بن الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بلوڈ حضور یو ورشپ ہو دا لارڈ میئر کاؤنسلر مسز جیڈ برڈ رائٹ آنربل رچرڈ کوون ممبر آف پارلیمنٹ لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مے پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز آف اللہ بی اپن یو آئی ایم آنرڈ ٹو ویلکم یو ٹو دس ویری ہسٹورک اوکیشن on the inauguration of this very beautiful mosque named as Bethel Afiyat, as you have already been told, that means the security and comfort, a place where you can forget your worldly problems and feel secure and gain communion with your Creator. In a way, every Muslim mosque is a sanctuary and a place of rest but the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has always prided itself in having an open door policy to our mosques. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Association in Sheffield, as you have already been told, has a very long link with this, um, with this city and has been active in promoting community cohesion and peace for the community at large. They've always tried to build intercommunal harmony and interreligious understanding. Indeed, this has been the characteristics of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community all over the world. When the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam was founded in 1889 by Hazrat Mizza Ghulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, in a small town in India called Khadiyan, he claimed on the basis of divine revelation that he was the promised reformer and the Messiah whose advent was awaited by the followers of different religions. His mission, he claimed, was to unite the mankind in brotherhood and peace under the umbrella of true Islam. The Ahmadiyya movement represents the true essence of Islam, shown of all unacceptable practices of intolerance and bigotry that have disfigured and debased the Muslim society recently. The members of the Ahmadiyya movement firmly believe that confrontation, violence and terrorism have no place in any religion, least of all Islam, which itself means peace. Over the last 100 years, the worldwide community has been guided by the institution of Khilafat or spiritual leadership. And we are very fortunate that this year is the centenary of this great institution. And furthermore, we are very honored this evening to have the blessed presence of His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masur Ahmad, who is the fifth successor to the promised Messiah, peace be upon him. The role of the Khalifa is to promote peace in the society, and particularly he devotes to ensure that Islam is understood as a religion of peace and tolerance throughout the world. The Ahmadiyya was first introduced in the United Kingdom in 1912 and had the privilege of building the first mosque known as the London Mosque in Southfields in London. Then the community had the good fortune also of building the largest mosque in Europe which was again built in London and this mosque which was named as Bethel Fatou Mosque, resides in Morden, South London, and it accommodates 10,000 worshippers. Architecturally, it was also voted as one of the most, 50 most beautiful new structures of modern times. The Ambia community is now established in 190 countries of the world, and although the community has built more than 8,000 mosques in the world, it has also been busy in helping the suffering humanity in the world. 
It has built various hospitals, schools, colleges, and is helping the worldwide community through its charitable organization called Humanity First, providing aid to the poor people of this world. The ethos of the Andhya community is encapsulated in the motto, love for all, hatred for none. While proud and strong in their belief, the members are tolerant and understanding of others' point of view and respect the spiritual and cultural sensitivities of the society they live in. Finally, I'd like to reiterate that the most important aspect of the mosque is that it is a house of God. And as such, it is a place of peace reserved for the remembrance of our Creator. The mosque invites one and all for a tranquil in a tranquil environment where one can find security and peace of mind. Mosque, this mosque is going to be a century and is open to all for the purposes of worship of the Creator. I very much hope that this building will contribute to the peace and harmony of this area and will prove instrumental in bringing about community cohesion and understanding in this multicultural society. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming this evening. May God bless you. Thank you.